Hi there, it's Gabrielle Nicolet from Speech Kids, where we teach little kids to talk and we help parents understand their little kids. Have you ever noticed um, that sometimes it feels like you're having two feelings at the same time? Like what happens at a funeral when it's clearly a very sad occasion um, much of the time, and yet you're then laughing and um, telling funny stories about the person who's deceased. Uh, and then you sort of catch yourself and wonder if it's okay. Um, this notion that feelings can come and go very, very quickly um, and sometimes almost seem to coexist, like you're feeling both of those things at the same time. You're feeling this incredible um, memory and warmth and love and happiness at the memory of this person and yet you're very sad that they're not here anymore. Um, that push-pull is hard to understand um, and I think it's hard for for adults to understand and it's if it's hard for us you can only imagine how hard it is for little kids to understand and so as part of our role as parents um, to young kids who are learning how to function on the planet because um, they just got here pretty recently one of the things that we have to do is explain to them sometimes that it's okay to have two feelings or to have more than one feeling coming in and out in quick succession. Um, that might be a conversation that you have with your little one. Um, I had it with my three-year-old when he was three. Um, and I remember it vividly. Um, he was in the back of the car. I had just picked him up from a week with my parents. Um, so he went to grandma and grandpa camp for the week and um, I went to get him. And so we met halfway between the two houses and I, I put him in the back seat and I said, I'm so happy to see you. Are you so happy to be coming home? And he kind of looked at me and I could see happiness and confusion and disappointment and sadness go across his face all at sort of a, one after the other. And um, for whatever reason in that moment, I was possessed of myself and I said, wow, it looks like you're feeling a lot of different things all at the same time. And I will never forget this moment. His whole body relaxed when he realized that he could be sad to leave grandma and grandpa, but that it didn't mean that he didn't want to come home. And do you see how that explanation that it was okay to have all of those feelings, so I validated what he what he was experiencing, allowed him to have peace with that um, and to understand why it felt hard um, and not have to fight for those for one of those feelings to win. He was allowed to have all of those feelings um, in quick succession slash almost at the same time. And so you might find that your child is experiencing like a lot of different emotions all at the same time. And it probably is confusing for you. Um, and my hope is that if it's confusing for you, you maybe take a step back and understand how much more confusing it is for them. Um, and maybe you can start to put some words around it for them and help them understand. And maybe they will then have some words for you so that you can understand a little bit better how they're feeling too. Um, feelings are a big deal. They, you know, they are big and they happen and um, rather than uh, wishing they weren't there or pretending they're not there or trying to make them go away, um, acknowledging, uh, reaffirming, reassuring, explaining, all of those things are, um, are what our kids need from us, um, especially when they're having those big feelings. So more than one feeling at a time. Go with it. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.